Hey everybody, Davey here from Davey's World Fishing. Today I'm out here at the Longfin in Orange, California. Gonna go check it out. They're having their big parking lot sale. Let's go see what's happening. <laughs> You too. Hey, so this is the man you want to talk to right here. So, uh oh, calico, calico bass. Yes, sir. I'm on a Komodo 300. Perfect. All right, guys, I'm here with Benji Kim. We're at the Long Fin. Benji, what do you got going on here today? Uh, well, I'm hanging out at the Lucky Craft booth today, and so you know they asked me to help out, but super yeah. stoked to be right next to Akuma. Yeah. Nice, look at that, boom! Yeah. And so I've been able to talk to. I just talked to someone who just walked out with the Rockaway, his his very first Rockaway. So very he's got cool. the ten foot. So yeah, just hanging out, talking to people, and just having a blast. And uh, ran to Dave, and uh, awesome event here, man. So you are a surf fishing killer, right? So tell me what you got going on. What what are you recommending, guys? Go out and they're throwing. We know you're throwing those lucky strike baits, halibut, perch. I mean, heck, whatever's in the surf. I mean, what if yeah. a guy's starting out and wants to go throw some stuff? I mean, what do you recommend? What do you want to put in their hands? Uh, this is the Lucky Craft Flashman 0110, and on the saltwater side for Lucky Craft, this is kind of their flagship lure. It's a one to two foot suspending diver, and uh, it's a halibut killer. Um, and uh, you know, I think what's great about this is you can do a straight retrieve, just reel it in with the right cadence, or you can jerk it. You know, you, you can pop it and it's gonna slash slash in the water. It's buoyant in salt water, so just a real killer option in low tide option and in low, smaller water, water columns. But yeah, I think in terms of halibut, everyone knows if you've been if anyone's been doing it for a while. Uh, this is kind of the one that came into the map that started it all. You That's know? the so, one. Is there a particular color you always recommend, guys? Um, I say anything bait fish with pink on the bottom. This is actually not even in, in stores yet. This is the Chrome Cherry. So it's got the silver on top, but I always say the magic thing is that That's pink it right bottom there. does something about that. So anything bait fish pattern or uh, pink on the bottom with pink on the bottom seems to be a good option. Awesome. Um, so yeah, it's what I love throwing. Side note, you get any of those striper that have been around? Uh, I got I got some stripe I got my first SoCal striper in the spring, and uh, I know they're around, but we try to keep it a little hush hush. So. Nice, awesome. <laughs> yeah, don't tell anybody, everybody. Secret. Yeah. <laughs> right on, Benji. Well, we appreciate it. Thanks so much. All right, guys, we're here with Eddie. Morning, showing off morning. some. Showing off some Okuma gear. There's the Makaira 80. There's that rapid crank. If you haven't seen this, this is awesome. You actually can hook this right to your power drill and you can reel these guys in. So if you're fishing the, the Mad Max or you're throwing the kite, whatever you want to do, hook this right to your drill and you can power wind that thing in. It's always cool as we've got the cut open Makaira. You can see the actual gearing inside. You can see all of the components. You can see the helical cut gearing that this guy has. You can see how the gearing's actually at an angle and that makes it so smooth and quiet. There's no clicking. But these reels are cool. If you ever happen to be at one of the trade shows, maybe you're at the Bart Hall Show or PCS, we've always got this in the booth, but you can see all of the components and how they work. You can see the ratcheting anti-reverse. It's just a it's just a cool piece to have. You having a good time so far, Eddie? Yeah. When we uh let this last week fishing, the angle of the handle here is is unique to where when you're pinned to the rail and you got the rod under your arm, it makes the, the cranking so much easier, especially when you drop down to what we now call the geezer gear. Exactly. The lower gear. Yeah, that it makes it so much easier bringing those big fish in as quick as possible and then getting another one. That's right. That T-bar handle is pretty amazing. It's something that's been on the Makaira for over 10 years now, but it keeps that elbow in close and just keeps it at a nice ergonomic angle. But this reel here that I just showed you, that's the brand new 80. This is a brand new reel for 2024. Okuma's always had the 80 wide, but the 80 is a new size. So it's the exact same diameter as the 80 wide. It's just narrower. So you got the exact same diameter, narrower. So it's gonna stay a little bit, it's gonna stay more direct. You're not gonna get as much wobbling as maybe an 80 wide would. But for the guys that are doing the deep drops, great little reel right there. That's that new 80 size. Well, thank you, Eddie, appreciate it. Sure, anytime. All right, guys, out here at the event, you got all of the new Shimano gear as well, the Trevola rods. You got some of their new slow pitch reels, Terramar setups. So then also that, and then like not working for a month because my truck was broke down and they were trying to figure it out.
whole week off to get up there and play around. Shop is booming today. So the line is not rubbing on it as it leaves the reel. All right, guys, that's it. That's the long fin parking lot sale. Not a lot of people here yet. It's early still. Just started here at 7. Uh, but uh, vendor-wise, lots of good people there as well. Lots of good products. Lots of good deals inside the shop, and it's booming in there. But, uh, you know, swing on by the long fin. Great shop up here in Orange. I appreciate y'all checking in. Do me a favor, hit that like button down below, and subscribe to Davey's World Fishing up in the right-hand corner. See you on the water.